Dear chess friends, uh, this is Stepan Žilka and in this video I will show you a very interesting uh, line, very marginal line uh, where two knights uh, can mate opponent's king. Uh, with this uh, green I just uh, show you the, the standard uh, line <coughs> where when the pawn is stopped by the knight it's always winning, uh, sometimes it's uh, in uh, 150 moves just breaking this rule but uh, yeah it's just showing something so this uh, a5 is marginal and uh, <clears throat> the winning process it's not about I want to to learn to teach you uh, how to mate with this two knights that it's uh, necessary for your game uh, but it's very interesting uh, to see the patterns and to see the cooperation of the pieces and uh, really uh, incredible strategies that must be used uh, to win. Uh, so let's go for it. <clears throat> I will just uh, uh, go pretty quickly uh, through this. Uh, <clears throat> it may be very surprising for you, but the, uh, as I was uh, showing you this line that the pawn must be stopped on a5, but uh, a5. But actually, uh, it's uh, for cases when the king is somewhere here. Uh, when the king is uh, on the opposite side, uh, your dream is uh, to force the, the pawn to be on a6 and block it from a7. Uh, so what's actually happening here is that black is trying to force the pawn a5 to move. Uh, so yeah, so now you see that uh, the king and knight can actually cooperate in such a way that uh, the king, the knight protects these two squares, right, on h5 and g6, which means that uh, the king cannot uh, go directly via g6, he must go to h6, and okay, he, must, he doesn't have to, but if he goes to h6, you just go king f5, and it's just, it's just, it's just barrier. So the king uh, goes uh, back to f8, knight g7, uh, knight h5 protecting g7. And this is another very typical, uh, very typical. Once the knight is on h5, it means that the next move he will protect h5. So uh, if king h6 happens, you just go knight g7 and knight e6. And you see that you just kicked him away from these uh, h5, h6 squares. <coughs> So let's continue with the line just uh, to see this interesting moment. Knight O, oh, Knight G7, again making the same the same movement. First protecting H6, then a, uh, first H5, then H6, and uh, King E7, King F7, and you see that you already locked your uh, opponent's king in this corner. But uh, okay, it's nowhere uh, close to be made because it's just uh, the pawn is too fast. Uh, <clears throat> the process uh, now uh, till here, till this position, it looks uh, pretty normal. What 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 was going on? But the the next part may be pretty surprising for you. King g6, uh, leave, uh, just uh, keeping the not not keeping the king in the corner, just. Uh, <laughs> going to something new. <clears throat> king f6, king g5, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> what was the position? It was like, it was like, no, it was like, where is the position? The first position, uh, so this is the first position with king on g6 and knight on f5, uh, king, king on f7, knight on f5. And uh, immediate in a couple of moves, you will see that the king will will change to g6, and okay, this will happen here yeah, with this <coughs> with these moves. And it's pretty uh, it's pretty important uh, to to know that this pattern is just uh, white cannot avoid it. So when you are in this position and you prefer to have a uh, king on. Uh, g6 and knight on e6, you can just force see, force events. <clears throat> okay, and now, now even here, the, maybe now you would say that the knight will start running 
somewhere to mate, but it's just not fast enough. So knight d8 is correct, knight c6, king f6, and knight c5. <clears throat> and the point is uh, that uh, I was explaining you, I will tell you later why it's important to be blocking from a7, forcing the pawn to a6. Uh, so uh, what was basically going on? Uh, you just kept the king in the corner and <clears throat> now uh, the knights are changing. So you see that the knight, uh, knights change. The, with uh, this king on f6 you just uh, make it impossible uh, for white to leave because <clears throat> these, these are barriers, it's just there's nowhere <clears throat> nothing uh, the king can, could actually do <clears throat> and uh, now it's already, uh, the mates are already in the air if you went like king h8 now it would already, <clears throat> uh, there would be some mate net how would it happen? It would like knight d7, knight check, check, <coughs> knight d7, and knight g6 mate. So it's already necessary for white to play a6 here <coughs> to avoid these immediate mate threats. <coughs> okay, now the h8 is impossible to reach because uh, uh, then the, <coughs> the knight would just no, the second one would just go here and <clears throat> made you against opponent's queen. So king f8 must happen, and now you are pushing the king to the other side, king b6, and this is this is what was it all about, this forcing the pawn to go to a6, is that you now can play this uh, king d6 brilliant move. <clears throat> That's the that's the all point of this uh, first 40 moves was that uh, you just uh, forced the pawn to go uh, forward, and now if <clears throat> if if White took the knight, he would just get mated. Now a7 knight b6 is made immediately, and now you just <clears throat> go to c8 and mating. This is important <clears throat> because from c8 you are protecting a7 square so you just you just can force mate so the king can try to run on this side but you see uh, that, that knights are already making beautiful barrier again and it already starts to be pretty obvious that the king is in problems uh, now it's uh, good to know that uh, it's a b5 square what is important here uh, so, for example, knight a8 is possible, knight b5. If the king uh, went the other way, you are again very badly locked in the corner, and it's just it's just done. <coughs> you would just make it this way, so the king is probably better on a1, <coughs> making switch to better square. Again, the typical switch something we already saw with this <coughs> squares here uh, the same happened now you see that b3 d3 is now and uh, a few moves ago it was it was this eh? so b3 uh, c, c2 c4 and he just switched these pieces and it's just forced so this this is very important maneuver uh, to remember <coughs> Okay, now it's just the second knight is just joining the mate net and it's it's just over, it's mate. Uh, so uh, this is uh, some interesting interesting uh, patterns in this uh, endgame two knights mating against a pawn. Of course the pawn must be there uh, so that you can stalemate the king in the corner and that's all. If you like, you can make a bit training with this endgame, or you can just remember the patterns. So, thank you for watching, and see you in one of my next videos.